This is James Elder for IFL TV hey James. in association hey James. with Matt Cleese, Jim Marbella. Hey James. With me, I've got Johnny Too Bad Nelson. What's <laughs> happening? You all right? I'm all good, I'm all good. Good. Reac reaction to what we just saw at the weigh in? I think Anthony Joshua looks in supreme condition as per usual. Scary, isn't it? 17 tons of stone, 7 to sit on his back. He's like a silverback. He looked in uh, <laughs> excellent condition. Uh, uh, Anthony Collar as well, Scott Quigg. Now, I think the pressure on Scott Quigg because of Frampton's performance last weekend. But Scott Quigg is trying to keep, keep his hand the prize and get rid of the man in front of him. I reckon he's got about six, seven rounds. Is it, is it kind of the case of the manner of Scott Quigg's victory? Yeah, it's not impressing. Yeah, so he's got to win, but it's how he wins. You know, dragging it through and getting the points. It's all right, it's not going to create any waves and it's not going to make people all of a sudden try and compare the two of, of Quigg and Frampton, even though both names go together. So he's got to do a job. Do a job where people think, wow, you know, what he's got to do because Frampton box the weekend, nobody's saying, wow, Frampton's a better two of them. Now he's got to put a performance on where people think, wow, well, is it? And then let's not forget Kid Galahad. So we have a, 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 a trio of fighters that can fight each other. With Rigondo potentially relocating to the UK as well, that's got to throw him easy straight when in the mix. To his name, don't they? Wow. Uh, yeah, I think he's like a tsunami. Everybody's, they know it's coming, they don't want to be there when it lands. And he's the guy they are avoiding like the plague. No one wants to talk about him. Or oh, talk about that. him when he's not listening. Yeah. Uh, but that's the one that uh, it's like Golovkin. You put Golovkin, you put him in the mix. People just don't want to respond to the uh, to the question. Indeed, indeed. Last time we spoke was potentially about a comeback for yourself. Now, having had time to assess that, what are your thoughts on that on that whole situation? A lot of people thought I was joking and. Uh, and it was just tongue in cheek. It wasn't. You know, I wouldn't. It's, 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 it's just a one night only. It's not a comeback. I'd be simply to say I'm coming back to box and have a career as a boxer. I'm 47 years old. It's going to be hard to put my body through it just once. The challenge is perfect. The challenge for me is, is, is everything. I wouldn't do it if it was somebody else. Uh, but him, I think he's, he's beatable as a world champion. I think it's a great story uh, to come back 10 years after giving it up to beat the guy that's trying to break my record. Uh, who's 30 years old. I love the fact that a lot of people are saying don't do it, you're going to lose. I absolutely love it. People do not actually realise how much that feeds me. And, um, but I love the challenge. And I know for a fact, the more people say you're going to lose or get turned over, it actually makes the glory more higher, uh, the win more successful. Because I wouldn't pick this fight if I didn't think I'd win. I wouldn't embarrass myself like that. It wouldn't happen. I don't know two months down the line in training if my body's holding up to it. If it doesn't, I ain't getting in the ring, get my ass bust. It's not going to happen. <laughs> when I get in the ring, I expect to win. Uh, it's that simple. And, and the second I do it, I'll say, that's me done. So, what, of, what of the main brains that Sky said about this, the likes of Adam Smith, the likes of Edwin Robinson, what are their thoughts on this well, matter? Well, the team split, and that's what I liked about it. When I walked in, a lot of, some of the team said, no, uh, you know, don't do it, Johnny. And then we had a joke, a laugh and a joke, and I invited, they said, yeah, when you get in the corner, you're going to say, in the blue corner, after four operations, one on his left knee, one on his right knee, not on his hip, and they're all taking the mickey out, like which was funny. But the people that counted, uh, I asked them, spoke to them about it, told them my vision, told them my story, told them what my challenge is. And there are a lot of people behind me. Uh, the main man's behind me, uh, Edith Sky. My boss is behind me, Adam. Uh, yes, it split the team down the middle, but the, my job is done. You know, it's got people talking, think, could he do it? Nobody's saying, Johnny, you've got no chance in hell. They're saying, Johnny, you could have done him in your day. It's wrong, man. Great. Lovely. Perfect. Last question, are you going to do it? Are you going to go through it's with it? Call. I've done everything uh, possible to, 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 to put a position there. The German TV are very interested in it. It's down to, to them. Uh, the, there are conditions on it. Uh, one, it's got to be for the, for the title. Two, um, I want it in Germany. Uh, and three, I've got to be his 14th defence. There's no point in the story. Have you got a message for Marco Huck and even some of the German promoters? Marco Huck. Um, German fans, you know when I was out there, I don't bottle it. You know, I mean it, it's serious. Uh, and the promoters know that as well. But remember, I've been over to Germany three times and beat three of the best out there. So maybe you're the one that's going to do it. 47 year old man, been out there in 10 years. Come on, be a devil. Be tempted. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> Top man, Johnny. I'll catch you again real soon. Thank All you, right. sir. Sweet.